intense pleasures, as I'm sure many of you um, have experienced, of travel um, is the opportunity to live amongst uh, people who have not forgotten the old ways, who still feel their past in the wind, touch it in stones polished by rain, taste it in the bitter leaves of plants. And just to know that in the Amazon, jaguar shamans still journey beyond the Milky Way, or that in the high Arctic, the Myths of the Inuit elders still resonate with meaning, or that in the Himalaya the Buddhists still pursue the breath of the Dharma, is to remember the central revelation of anthropology, and that's the idea that the world into which you were born doesn't exist in some absolute sense, but is just one model of reality. The consequence of one particular set of adaptive choices is that your cultural reality made, however successfully, many generations ago. But whether it is a voodoo acolyte in Haiti, or a yak herder in the slopes of Shomolunga, Mount Everest, or indeed an eagle hunter of Central Asia, or a thunderhoof shaman of Mongolia, all of these peoples teach us that there are other ways of being, other ways of thinking, other ways of orienting yourself in social, spiritual, and ecological space. And that, that's an idea that, if you think about it, can only fill you with hope. Now, together, the myriad of cultures around the world make up a social and uh, cultural love of life that I've always argued is as important to the planet as is the biological love of life that we all know as a biosphere. And as the Dean said, I coined this term maybe 10 years ago, ethnosphere, to try to create an organizing principle around which we could begin to think of the human legacy in new ways. And I defined the ethnosphere as a sum total of all thoughts and dreams, ideas and myths, uh, intuitions and inspirations brought into being by the human imagination since the dawn of consciousness. The ethnosphere is indeed our great legacy. It's a symbol of all that we've achieved and the promise of all that we can achieve as a wildly creative species. And just as the biosphere, of course, is being severely impacted with the loss of habitat and the uh, consequential, a consequent uh, loss of biological life, plant and animal species, so too is the ethnosphere, and if anything, at a far greater rate. No biologist, for example, would dare suggest